Bring him over here. It's the front one. Mm. We don't need a hammer. I'll get him, mister. This is wonderfully kind of you. Sure. I'm Mrs. Daniel Boone, and this is my son, Israel. Name's Maddox. Perhaps you could tell us where Oyster Cove is. Not far. Just follow the shoreline. That is where the Hogan place is, isn't it? Did you say Hogan place? Yes, Peter Hogan. I'm not even sure it's called that now, though. He has lived there for several years. Perhaps you know the tenant, Mr. Hiram Grover. He's dead. Dead? But the letter that came with the deed... I'm sorry, I'm Peter Hogan's niece. And he left me the property in his will. And the letter said there was a... But if Mr. Grover's dead, who's been paying the rent? Wouldn't know about that. You mean the house has been sitting there empty? As far as I know these past few years. I don't think it'd be a good idea for you and the boy to go out there alone. Why not? You must have some reason for saying that. No need to frighten the boy. But ever since Hiram Grover's body was found, I mean, Ever since Hiram Grover died, people hereabouts don't come near the place. You mean the place is haunted? Israel, don't be foolish. Is that what they think, Mr. Maddox? That's what they say. And from what I've seen and heard, I don't blame them. Thank you for fixing the horseshoe. Come on, Israel. The afternoon's half gone already. Where are we going to go? Israel? Mm -hmm. 